good afternoon ladies and gentlemen today is going to be kind of a not so fun video because i need to basically address a few disturbing things that i've no basically this is going to be like a ridiculous situation subject now let me make it absolutely clear that this is not an attack video and this is not a video to encourage basically i don't encourage anybody to go after anybody and for the love of god don't don't try to white knight for me either ladies and gentlemen because that that won't help me but i want to address these ads that i've lately seen pop up for express telecom they're basically the gist of the ad is you can basically get a free tablet if you Basically, so if you, it's like a government program. If you, if you, basically, if you subscribe to them through a government program, you can get a free tablet. Well, I already had that government pro. Well, here's the situation that happened to me. So sit down, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a bit of a story here. What happened to me was I saw this ad, so I decided I already had the service through Xfinity through Comcast. I decided to switch this. I forgot what it was called. I think it was called ICP or something like that. Hold on, let me pause and double check. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I had to resume the video because it cut it off when I <clears throat> launched a different app. So, <clears throat> so it was actually called uh, Me From The Future here. I believe it was called Access Telecom with an E, not an A. So I was mispronouncing it. And I'll include the picture of the company's logo. Which. And once again, it looks like they're still hosting that whole get your free tablet thingamajigger, but whatever. I'll just show the picture of the company I was talking about. And I believe it's called Access, not Access. It's, I think it's an E, not an A. So. Yeah, I'm putting that this little amendment in the video. Okay, that's it. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Had to read them again. It was actually called ACP, the Affordable Communication Program. Basically, I had that program through Comcast already, but I decided, you know... Since I saw the ad, they were going to give me the other company was called Express Telecom. So I thought they were going to, you know, the ad said they were going to give me a free tablet and all. So I applied to them and then I was approved. And then on top of that, they asked me to pay like some sort of ridiculous $1 fee. Okay, I paid it. Even though the stupid payment page absolutely didn't work properly. The stupid thing failed several times. I tried calling a company and that and Express Telecom was absolutely not helpful. They didn't know what the hell they were doing. They kept on saying, there's a problem with our system. We'll call you again when, when we fix it. And no call. Let's, 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 let me tell you that, ladies and gentlemen, there was absolutely no call. So I waited and then eventually the service did transfer to them. And they sent the tablet and they sent the tablet through fucking FedEx. The, uh, my freaking, the bane of my effing existence, ladies and gentlemen. So, I waited for my tablet to arrive. Several times, uh, FedEx, uh, FedEx texted me saying, uh, saying that, uh, you know, saying that it was arriving. And then they, and then they said that they couldn't get into the building. There's their same old fucking excuse that FedEx always has. You know, I find it absolutely... They said they couldn't get into the building. So, I I call FedEx and try to, you know, figure out, you know, hey, where's my tablet? Where's, where, where's my freaking package? Well, FedEx was less than helpful. They, they, they routed me to, like, the delivery control service, whatever the fucking hell it was called. The late, when that lady called me back, she absolutely wasn't helpful. Their excuses were pathetic. They were just giving me excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse. And then when I 
requested the, for the driver to, you know, give me a call if they can't get into the building because, you know, Amazon can do this, USPS can do this, Fed, uh, 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 UPS can do this, but FedEx cannot. They, she started giving me an excuse. Oh, the driver isn't comfortable with using their phones to call people. La, 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 la. That's a bunch of bullshit. If you can't get into the building, you're supposed to call the person. And on top of that, there's a call box by the door. All you have to do... You know, my name is on the package. All you have to do is just scroll down and find my bloody name and, and dial the number. And uh, I would answer because the number is actually hooked to my cell phone. So I would be able to answer it even if I'm out of the out, out of the house. But I was at home all that week. And I was at home all the other week. Two days. In, uh, and then they, they, they sent me another weird text message saying that they tried to deliver again, but they never delivered it. At that point... I was fed up with FedEx, and I was fed up with, and then, and then when I tried to call, uh, when I tried to call, uh, that telecom service, you know, the people who were offering the free tablet, I tried calling them and saying, "Hey, FedEx never delivered my tablet because they were giving me excuses and bullshit." Uh, I tried telling them that you know FedEx never delivered it. Then they're like, "Oh, we're sorry, we're sorry, we'll get back to you." La la la. Express Telecom never got back to me. They, uh, Access Telecom, whatever it's called. I for, sorry if I'm forgetting the company's name. Uh, I, I, it's been a, a long process dealing with, with them. I think it's called like Access Telecom. Yeah, I think it's Access Telecom or something like that. Yeah, Access Telecom, something like that. Long story short, after dealing with their bullshit over and over them, them giving me pathetic excuses, and not to mention... uh. Every time Access Telecom would call my number, it would always register it as potential spam. And it would always be a different number. And on top of that, when they send me emails, it would also automatically put it in my spam box. So after seeing that their number is, I don't know if it's just a Verizon thing or what, but, you know, every other legitimate company appears normally on my phone. It's just with Access Telecom for some bloody reason. So at that point, I, just, I well, basically, long story short, I got tired of FedEx's bullshit, so I just ignored them and let them do whatever the fuck they want with that package, because at this point, I don't want their goddamn tablet. And I got sick and tired of Access Telecom's bullshit. So what I did was, first, I tried transferring my service back to Xfinity, the affordable, uh, uh, uh the AC... Basically, the affordable uh, uh, program service back to my... I, I, I can't pronounce the acronym, so I'll just say the affordable service. Basically, it's like a discount service from the government. So, I basically tried to uh, transfer it back to Xfinity. Unfortunately, I couldn't because you could, only do, you could only do a transfer once a month. So, I had to wait 30 bloody days. And I did. I waited 30 days with, of course... Access Telecom harassing me throughout those 30 days saying, uh, you know, trying to get me to activate a service that I can't activate because my tablet never came. So I just basically ignore, ignored them because at that point, I, 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 you know, I'm a client with disabilities. So, you know, I, I don't got I don't got the brain power nor the strength to deal with, you know, people, uh, people's bullshit. And quite frankly, I had enough of their BS. So I just ignored them. I ignored them, and then I waited until basically 30 days went by. And then fast forward a couple of days ago, I believe it was like last week, I basically resubmitted my application to Xfinity, and today I got a notification that my application, that my transfer was successful, and now I'm back to getting $30 off of my Xfinity bill. Basically, long story short, ladies and gentlemen, be very careful of those ads that offer you free tablets or free stuff like that because maybe if you're lucky you'll get it, but with me, Access Telecom completely and totally failed me. They failed me as a customer and they and quite frankly, I wouldn't recommend them because the lack of just effort on their part, the lack of willingness to help me, is that was absolutely unacceptable, and I would never go back to them again. I was getting more from having my service, having that affordable connection service, 
connected through Xfinity than I was th th through through Access Telecom. Through Access Telecom, I saved absolutely no money whatsoever. I only got nothing but grief through through Access to, uh, Telecom. And quite frankly, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't recommend unless you have somebody who can actually be on top of it. I wouldn't recommend going with that company because they don't know what they don't know what they're doing and they're absolutely not helpful. If you have that affordable care thing through Xfinity, keep it through Xfinity and don't fall for those bloody ads because it's just a waste of time, effort, and money. Because yeah, I did have to pay a dollar, even though it's a dollar, it's still a dollar. It's still money that I had to pay. And also, I had to literally go one month without that service and basically miss out on thirty dollars on on thirty dollars. But whatever. Basically, at least now it worked out, and I finally have that service back where it's supposed to be, which is Xfinity, and I will never switch it again. And also, on top of that, if you're shipping anything, ladies and gentlemen, avoid FedEx like the plague, because those bastards are not willing to do their jobs. Because with the whole FedEx thing, I just don't understand why FedEx is the only delivery service that can't, and that can't access this apartment complex ups can usps can every other mail carrier can except for them i find that bullshit and at the same time not only am i disappointed in access telecom for not being helpful i'm also disappointed in fedex once again for just not doing their fucking jobs but anywho at least i was able to fix it and also at least i didn't have to you know pay for that tablet because if I had to pay for it then there would be hell to pay it is unfortunate I wasn't able to get what that what Access Telecom promised me but whatever at least I was able to successfully transfer my service back even though I had to wait 30 days to do so long story short is don't fall for those ads because half the time, you probably won't get your free tablet. Especially if it's delivered through FedEx. If it's delivered through FedEx, good luck getting anything that's delivered through FedEx. Unless you're you're on top of those people. Because the, 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 that's absolutely pathetic. That uh, The lady that called me back from FedEx was being pathetic. Oh, the driver doesn't want to use their phone to call the client. It's, uh, and then it's like, okay, so how the fuck you're supposed to get into the building? And then I told them there's a call box they can use. And, again, more excuses. Basically, avoid FedEx if you can, ladies and gentlemen. And also, avoid Access Telecom. Because those people didn't help me. And they weren't willing to help me. They just wanted to spam call me after I got fed up with them. And, quite frankly, I find it disturbing that their number appears as a potential scam on my phone. So, anywho, it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. At least I was able to... Well, at least I was able to uh, restore that affordable service and put it back to Xfinity where, where it's supposed to be. And that's where it will stay. I've learned my lesson. Don't fall for those ads that promise you free free stuff and free internet because... Half the time you won't get it, or half the time they'll connect you to some sort of ridiculous company. I mean, I've never heard of Access Telecom until I saw those ads. So, anywho, th that's my little ridiculous situation video, or rant video, or whatever what the hell you want to call this. And once again, I'm going to state that I'm not calling anybody out, and I am not encouraging anybody to go after anybody. So, ladies and gentlemen, please don't white knight for me. Because it won't help anybody. Now with that out of the way, I'm going to, con uh, with that disclaimer out of the way, I'm going to uh, conclude this video for now. And I'll see you all in my next video. Hopefully my next one will be a, a lot more happier than this one. So anywho, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to conclude this video and I'll see 
you all on my next video, whenever it is and whatever it is. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everybody later. Have a good day and or night. Everybody. Bye. Ridiculousness.